Hello everyone, Josh here with Digetic Audio and today we're looking at the multiband compressor effect in Adobe Audition. The multiband compressor allows you to independently compress up to four different frequency bands. This allows you to apply different compression to unique dynamic content within the audio itself. There are a lot of settings in this and I will do my best to explain each one, but let's start with visuals and move on to what all the settings do. On the frequency chart, all the frequencies are labeled across the bottom and the amplitude is the vertical scale. The vertical lines are indicators of where the crossover frequencies are located and can be adjusted by clicking and dragging the lines left or right. Visually, it's color coordinated, so the color of the frequencies affected will coordinate with a compressor assigned to that band of frequencies. Below the chart is the compressor bands themselves. At the top, you have the solo and bypass controls. These allow you to hear specific frequency bands and can be used to listen to one or more at a time. The bypass button allows you to quickly turn on and off the compression band itself. The threshold slider is how you set the level where compression begins, and to the left of the threshold slider is the input meter. To reset the peak and clip indicators, just double click. To the right is the gain reduction meter that allows you to measure the amplitude reduction. Below that, you'll have five settings for each compression band. The threshold is set with the slider above. The gain will boost or attenuate after compression with a range of plus or minus 18 decibels. The ratio is the compression ratio and has a range from 1 to 1 to 30 to 1. A good example is to set the ratio to 5 to 1, just enter a 5. This means the compressor will output 1 decibel for every 5 decibel increase above the threshold. The attack will set how fast the compression is applied. The possible range is from 0 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds and defaults to 10 milliseconds. The release sets how long the compression will hold after the audio drops below the threshold. The possible range is from 0 milliseconds to 5,000 milliseconds and defaults to 100 milliseconds, which works well for most applications. You have some global settings that can be manipulated as well. The output gain will boost the cut audio level after compression. The limiter will apply limiting after the output gain and can be adjusted by specifying the threshold, attack, and release settings. To create a compressed audio, Enable the limiter and play with the different settings on the output gain. The brick wall limiter can apply an immediate hard limit. Deselect this option for softer limiting. Finally, you can link your band controls. This allows you to make global changes while maintaining the relative differences between all bands. To temporarily link the band control, hold down the Alt and Shift button on Windows or the Option Shift button on Mac. Multiband compressors can be a confusing mess at first, but with practice can be a phenomenal tool to keep in hand. Do you know it's not a phenomenal tool? Bad recording equipment. Click on this video where I go over my recording equipment that I take everywhere. And click on this playlist where I go over every effect in Adobe Audition and how to use it.